the law of attraction right the question is does the law of attraction works yes it works but i would like us to focus more on the foundation of the law of attraction where is the law of attraction coming from because i myself i'm a christian and i have practiced the law of attraction and this is the truth that i have found out about the law of attraction is that the law of attraction is the simple law that the bible talks about whatsoever a man sow it that will he also reap but this time now the law of attraction is targeting the minds of men because the law of attraction talks about your dominant thoughts will determine what you attract into your life and what you will get so think about it because jesus christ made a statement he said out of a bad tree comes out what bad fruit and out of a good tree comes out what good fruit so think about what jesus christ just said now whatsoever a man saw it that will he reap also so if you are meditating on negative thoughts you'll be getting negative results but if you are meditating on positive thoughts you'll be getting positive results do not forget that jesus christ said you should have faith in god and the power of god and not in the wisdom of men because this is what the Bible is talking about. We should have faith in God because one, God loves us. He wants to help us. He created us. He owns the universe and everything in it. So now see where the law of attraction comes in now. Because the law of attraction is actually a good law. It gives us a perfect understanding and the way we should work in life. But the problem is the reason why the law of attraction will kill our Christian faith is that it has been corrupted by the devil. Do not forget that the devil himself was also created by God. So now you see that since he has corrupted himself already, he's trying to corrupt everything created by God, even including us humans. Every day he spends his time planning strategies on how to corrupt us humans, the children of God, just as he is corrupted. You now say, how does the law of, laws of attraction sorry, corrupt us and turns us against the love of God? Because if we do not believe in the love of God, if we do not believe in God, how will God partake in our life? Because if you notice, God has already given us the earth. He asks us to have dominion over the earth and over our own lives. So he's not going to just come into our life and just determine what he wants for us. He say, ask and you will receive. You see, God has given us this liberty, this privilege of us being God's to decide what we want ourselves. So if we do not invite him in, he will not invite himself. He won't just come in. God, God has that respect for us as his children, as his own creation. But you see, the devil is taking advantage of that because even he himself, despite being created by God, he made a decision to be against God. And to today, we all see him working for me. God has not destroyed him yet because why? He notice that God is love. We all know that the, the devil has an appointed time before his destruction. So that is not even an issue. So now I'm talking about the law of attraction. How does the law of attraction exist? Because imagine, in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, God talks about meditating on his word. What word was he talking about? Meditating on his promises that he has promised us to get whatever we wish. And he's going to teach us to prosper. The Bible said, For it is I, the Lord your God, who teaches you to prosper, who teaches you to make profit and live in the way that you do. God is willing to help us get the knowledge, the right spot, and to help us think positively. Because if you read the Bible, you find out where God bless men with skills that help them grow in life. So now the devil is trying to tell us now through the law of attraction that God does not want to help us. He's not saying it directly, he's saying it indirectly that you don't need God. This is what the devil is saying. You don't need God. You can get it by yourself. Just focus on what you want and it will be yours. This is what the law of attraction is talking about. Focus on what you want. Meditate on what you want to get in life. Just focus on that and that alone and you will get what you want. As a Christian, if you practice that, it will kill your faith completely. I am serious about this. If you practice that, it will kill your faith. At the end of the day, I give you two years. Do not even think about God again. You will be among those that say God does not exist because why? You have been practicing the law of sowing and reaping, but you have been sowing a corrupt seed and not the word of God. Remember, the Bible said, For we are born not of perishable seed, but of imperishable seed, born of the word of God. And you know that that perishable seed is the wisdom of this world. Do not forget, the Bible said, Satan is the God of this world, but we are born of the imperishable seed, which is the word of God which is Christ Jesus. So think about this. 